12 News is continuing to raise awareness on mental health during the month of May. This morning we're highlighting the push for increased funding when it comes to helping patients. Joining me is Brooke Loop. She's the Community Engagement Coordinator with Samaritan Counseling Center of Southeast Texas. Hey, good morning, Brooke, and thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Tia. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so let's go ahead and dive right into it, uh, Brooke. While we were preparing for this, you told me there is a need for increased funding. What are you guys seeing over there at uh, Samaritan Counseling Center of Southeast Texas? Yeah, at Samaritan, um, we've been seeing an increased amount of individuals come to us for services. And as these people continue to come in for services, there are a lot who don't have insurance or their insurance doesn't cover mental health, which leaves them in a space of needing to do self-pay options, which can get a little bit expensive. And so um, <clears throat> we've seen a lot of families come seeking support for their mental health and not be able to receive services um, from other locations just based on their ability to pay. And luckily families that do come to you all are able to receive those services even if their insurance doesn't cover it. Um, how does it work there so people at home might know? Yes, ma'am. Um, so at Samaritan, we don't turn anyone away based on their ability to pay. Um, if they do, you know, fall into that category where they need some support, we have a sliding scale payment system. Um, so we work with our clients to find a price that can work with them and they can still receive the help and support that they need. Um, and, you know, even from that, there are people who are on insurance, you know, like I said before, who aren't covered under mental health. So Sometimes you think you might have insurance, but you don't. So we can help out with that as well. And so what should people at home do if they're interested in reaching out to you all? Yeah, so if they're interested in um, reaching out to Samaritan for Mental Health Services, they can give us a call at our office um, or they can head over to our website. All of our information is there as well. Um, it's a really quick process. Our um, admin will do a quick intake with you and then um, get you set up with a counselor that they think is the best match for you. And before we go, Brooke, I want to ask you one more question. Uh, with the free services that you all offer, there is a need for funding or donations. How important is that to uh, the organization? The um, donors and the community support is really essential to the services provided at Samaritan. Um, and just to speak on kind of how incredible Southeast Texas has been over the past few years, is that um, you know our staff and the amount of clients we've served has significantly increased and that's due to generous community members um, who care about mental health you know donating um, funding to help support their sessions in that way um, but also just forming community partnerships to help spread awareness about mental health break down that stigma and just get the word out to people who may not have heard about the services who would really benefit from it um, so really, it's the community support that will, um, you know, lead Southeast Texas into being a mentally healthier community. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Brooke. And thank you so much for joining us and sharing that information with us on Daybreak. Thank you, Tia. And we want to remind you for 24 seven mental health support in English or Spanish call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's free helpline at 800-662-4357. You can also reach a trained crisis counselor through the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline by calling or texting 988.